The new six-episode high-octane crime drama Parish stars and is executive produced by actor Giancarlo Esposito. And in Parish, he plays Gray Parish, a family man and a proud owner of a luxury car service in New Orleans. And after his son is violently murdered and his once thriving business collapses, Gray's encounter with an old friend from his days as a wheelman resurfaces some old habits and it sends him on a high-stakes path with a violent criminal syndicate. Let's take a look. What the hell is dad into? Before I met your mother, I led a different kind of life. Parish in a long time. Joining us now, the legend, Giancarlo Esposito. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Very excited to have you in here. Nobody does an intense standoff better than you. And in fact, the top comment on the trailer for Parish, when I was looking at it, it said, if Giancarlo Esposito is in it, you know it's a fire drama. Obviously, you've done a lot of these kinds of roles, but what really drew you specifically to this story? To this story, I had looked at the original, it was based on a British show called The Driver. And when I looked at David Morrissey's performance in that, um, I rec and the whole show itself, I recognized that I related to something very deep in this story. It was three two-hour movies. It was to be done in America. Uh, it went into turnaround and it came to me. And I grabbed it because there was some feeling and essence of this character that I felt was a part of me that I needed to work through. And that was a man who was broken who was at the bottom, who was trying to figure out a way to support his family that meant everything to him, and all the while in mourning for a loss of a son. So he was in the tra traumatic effect of being um, traumatized, and yet he could not face and be present for the family he had left. He was resentful that his wife and child were ready to move on a year after mourning his son's death, and he didn't have an answer. So he was a man looking for answers, a desperate man, losing his house, losing his business, and not having the answer to his son's death. You mentioned this is an adaptation from what, what was originally called The Drivers. Of course, we saw in the trailer, there's a lot of different action driving scenes. So actually, we think we have a very brief clip if we want to play that. Put your hands up. Get your hands on the wheel now. Right where I can see them. Now. So high octane in the literal and the metaphorical sense Absolutely. for this story. Are you a car guy at all? I'm a car guy. I'm a driver. Uh, early in my uh, 16th, 17th year, I used to go out at midnight to a little strip outside of town in Elmsford, New York, and we used to race our cars. Had many years since I yeah. did the street racing thing, but I learned how to do a reverse 360 and do it perfectly. Oh, man. And to evade capture, um, you know, this is, this is a story <laughs> about survival. And when yeah. you're trying to survive, you're in a desperate position. And you oftentimes do things that may be um, against what you normally would do if you weren't in under that pressure. Right. And if you can do a reverse 360 in the process, that's a just nice cherry on top. Sure is. For sure. The, the show is called Parish, obviously because of the character's name, but also I assume as a nod to Louisiana, the fact that they have parishes there. You shot this on location in New Orleans. How does New Orleans play its role in the, in the show itself? And also, what was your experience like? We wanted a city that really captured the essence of the American dream, uh, the essence of the American dream gone awry. New Orleans is certainly is a place of, of mystery and mystique, music and color. Uh, the feeling of New Orleans is, you know, I don't know if people, you know, New Orleans has shrunk um, by a third since Katrina. The people who live there don't carry that with them, but a tragedy happened there. And so a tragedy is happening in Gray Parish's life. And this city exemplified the feeling that we wanted, not only with the excitement, the color, the dream, the music, but also the lost dream of an American man. That is interesting. Having been there, yeah, it's, a, it's an amazing city, but it is a city that has some visible scars to it. Absolutely. For sure. Giancarlo Esposito, wonderful to meet you. Thank you so much for being here. So happy to be here. Thank you so much. Of course. And Parish premieres Sunday, March 31st at 10.15 p.m. Eastern Time at Pacific Time on AMC and AMC+. Plus. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.